Okay, I almost spooked this, but there's a level 5 moose here, and from what I've seen, these are the antlers that have been making diamond with the level 5 moose. A lot of level 4s are making diamond. The ones that are making diamond as level 5 usually have these. I think he maybe has one side that has a brow time and one side that doesn't, which honestly, that worries me. Because I feel like that left side's got more to it. But honestly, with this true score, who knows, but this is going to be my attempt at getting my first diamond with the muzzleloader. And for it to be one of my favorite looking racks, true racks in the game, that would be really cool. And honestly, the broadside shot would really show a lot about the muzzleloader. So actually let him pick his head up just so we don't mess it up. But I love how powerful it is and how much uh, penetration it tends to get. Get a look at just what it can do on the moose. But that should be pretty good. He's actually dying a little slower than I thought he would. But I think we'll be all right. Obviously, all we need is a lung, so not a big deal. But he was just like hidden in that little spot below the hill. I, I came up over. I was spotting everything across the lake. And I just like looked down and he was standing there alert right in front of me the level fives i don't know ah i think he's five away no he's 0. 0.3 shy dang i mean you see the penetration of the muzzleloader but i don't know he actually he's not lacking a brow tine he's not, he's actually lacking too he doesn't have the brow tines but this side just sticks out a little more but dang, that was close. So that right there is a really good opportunity for our first diamond with the new muzzleloader. And he's a dark red. Like, that's clearly a common. So kind of cool that he's a kind of fur variant as well. So, I mean, I really do trust the muzzleloader and its accuracy. But I don't know if I want to take a frontal shot, at least not from this range. And they just started drinking. It's like, what? 719 like we have time so we'll just kind of scoot in here probably here i think that's what we're gonna have to do so zero for 100 let him lift his head so we can definitely see wow that was not for very long though let's do that again and i think that'll be good yeah he's dead so hopefully first diamond with the muzzleloader um would actually be first diamond puma i think on the new system as well. Oh, point one away. Dang. Well then. Round two of getting trolled. All right, round three of trying to get a diamond with this new muzzleloader. We keep getting trolls, but I did just spook a level five black buck. I'm not sure where in here he got to, but he had the bigger horns. I think we're set. I've not seen one of those with the bigger horns miss diamond. So I think it's just a matter of either them coming back or like us hanging with them and eventually getting a shot at him. But I do have the round balls loaded, so we're going to have integrity on the black buck. And I mean, all we got to do is figure out what these guys want to do, whether they're going to come back here or, you know, with the nervous state, just head off forever. But I think we have the animal. It's just a matter of actually getting the shot now. Okay, that's him there. He's nervous, but he's in range. Let's actually... We just spotted him at like 120. Um, I couldn't tell. I don't think that's fleeing. I think... I don't think they're ever nervous and fleeing. So, he should actually... Yeah, he's just standing right there. Get that zero for 150. Oh, no, I can't. I have to zero for 100 because these are not the other ones. They are not as effective at range. And the thing is, he like he's trying to get over where these ones are, I think. So I kind of feel a little bit rushed with this. And the wind is bad, so I'm like really trying to get a shot. Let's see if he can stop one more time for us. Hopefully not behind that tree. Nice. Okay. <laughs> when Diamond Black Bucks in this game are getting my heart racing, something is up. But just this new muzzleloader and nothing wants to actually make Diamond. But that guy should make it. Um, I can't see any way that's going to fail unless 
he's too small, but like I said, all the ones with the big horns that I've seen so far, uh, since the new scoring system came out, have made diamonds. So, hopefully, this is the one, third time's a charm. And he didn't really die any kind of decent for a trophy shot, so I think we're just going to be claiming him right away. And he's a diamond 28.7. Okay, so he's, he's pretty well over. Kind of like mid-range, I would say. Not bad, though. 116 meters with the round ball. I'll tell you what. What I did not expect to do when the new weapon pack came out was to get my first diamond with the round balls with that muzzleloader because, I mean, there's really only one class that it matters for. If, if we look at the ammo real quick, classes 3 to 7 for the round ball, 4 to 8 for, I don't know how to pronounce that, Minier or whatever, because I think that maybe is French. But, um, it's, there's one class, that class three, and we needed it there for the Black Bucks, so, go figure, but pretty cool. Honestly, kind of a, a cool one to get, because it's not that super overpowered weapon using the round balls. It's actually a little more difficult, so I like that. I cannot believe what I'm looking at. That is a big five mule deer in a place I never look. Like, I go over here a lot. This is the right lake over here on Parquet. I never bother to look over there. And just by himself, there is that beast across the water. So, um, quite honestly, I should have the M1 on me. I just killed a diamond with a muzzleloader not too long ago. I meant to switch, and I didn't. So, we are going to be trying to get a... Big Rack Diamond Mule Deer with the muzzleloader, which I think is going to be interesting, but uh, I think we have time. Yeah, it's 1030. Like, they stopped drinking at 12, so we'll kind of take our time once we get a little closer. It's it's weird. I don't know if we're going to have to take our shot from here, because the way this terrain is, like, going up and around, I don't know that, that that's going to work, and quite honestly, I kind of wish I had the M1 right now for the range capabilities, but we'll see what we get lined up, but... That's hype. I've not seen one of these in a long time. Man, I got up here as high as I can. I'm like at risk of falling down in here, which would not be good, but I still can't see him. I think he's behind that hill just a little bit, so we're going to actually have to go out and around, which, oh, actually, he's right there. Maybe this can work. Let's, let's really make sure... It's 150, because the muzzleloader is a little more finicky than other weapons. I want to be extra careful with my ranging. I'm going to scoot over a little bit so I maybe don't hit that branch. I'll go for it. Nice! I don't think there's any risk of that hitting too high. I think that's double lung. And that is really, really cool. I thought we were going to have to go all the way around here. I was convinced that there was no shot. And then he just stepped into that opening, like, so perfectly. Uh, let's go ahead and equip this. Just so we don't die. I'm trying to get over there. But I think we just did something that I've been trying to do for... Gosh, I don't know how long. Since before the new scoring system, that's for certain. But a big rack diamond mule deer. And now, with the new scoring system, I was going to need another one anyway. Because I started a new lodge. So... As long as nothing went really wrong there, I think we finally did it. We have to turn tracks off. That's like, not only did he die in a perfect spot, like, for a normal screenshot, look at the backdrop. How cool is that? We're going to get a couple of screenshots here, just because you don't see many of these. And you really don't drop many of these in an area like this where you get such a really nice looking backdrop, but he's dead with the muzzleloader. Now we got to see what we're actually looking at for our new trophy lodge. He is a big diamond, 536. He would be maybe my biggest diamond mule deer ever. He's my heaviest, but one that I got that was a bit lighter than this had a high trophy rating, but either way, that's a big one. It's a blonde color. And we just smoked him with the new muzzleloader. Like, I struggled to get a diamond with the muzzleloader. It took me three attempts. I had two trolls and then two in one day. And this is 
Definitely my favorite. That is... Man, one of the things I've been chasing, and I've been on parquet so much, and I've just never even really been close lately. I had a couple of fives that were trolls. God, that's cool. So, after we got the black buck, I decided I wanted to go look for a diamond axis tier, because I've already got one diamond black buck on this doorway, and I want a diamond axis tier for the other side, but getting a second diamond black buck, I tried it and it just didn't look as good, so I want to get an axis tier, and I went to a couple of multiplayer servers, I wasn't really having any luck, and then I came to my own map, and there's actually, I don't know if I'll be able to spot it, but there is a level 5 trying to figure out which one he is now. Yeah, he's that one right there. I can't spot him, but I know that's the big five rack for an access tier, like, no doubt. So go figure he's on my map, but he's in a place I never go. Like, I do not hunt this lake for access tier almost ever. And I guess that makes sense that there's a five chill in there. So yeah, we're going to use the muzzler on that. We can't use the M1 anyway, so might as well take him with the other new weapon and hopefully we can get in here pretty quickly. Their zone actually ends at 8.30, so we have a little bit of time, but I want to hopefully get in here and get him taken out before he decides to leave. So yeah, naturally he's the one that's going alert, but that's definitely the big rack. Like, he should be diamond. That should not be an issue, but we're going to zero for 100, and if he'll be broadside when the others aren't in front of him, we'll just take him out right there, so... Go figure. I wanted to get the diamond axis. I go to multiplayer and stuff because I just haven't killed a diamond axis here on my map. Honestly, a long time. I don't remember the last time I did. Then I decided to start grinding for one and shoot every level four. Come over here and there's already a five stand in there. So that actually worked out rather well. But hopefully he is going to make diamond. I don't think there's any reason he shouldn't. Good bit of vital blood there. And actually, just because he landed really well, we'll get couple of quick screenshots looks pretty decent but he is honestly I'm surprised at that he's barely a diamond at 359 I would have thought that was the smaller rack with that weight I kind of thought Axe Steer had maybe changed to where you needed like this rack to get diamond I wasn't aware it was, like, at this weight, though. That's honestly really interesting. I knew there was some, like, different things with them. I knew they weren't quite the same as they were before the new scoring system, but barely a diamond. You still got the bigger antlers. That's all I care about, so that's another one to the list. So that went, like, really, really well. We have our diamond axis here, so now this doorway kind of looks like I wanted. I wanted the diamond black buck on the one side, axis here on the other. We have that. I did the mule deer up here in the center. Like, I just think that's a really good spot for it. If there's an animal with majestic enough antlers to go up there, kind of as that centerpiece on the wall, I would say the big rack mule deer pretty much is as good as it gets. And then, for now, I did the black buck here. I don't know if I want to keep that. Maybe if I get another diamond black buck. But I was planning on doing, like, the ducks on those plaques. It's just going to have to depend on, like, what we get and, you know, what we end up deciding on from there. But for now, that's kind of a start for that wall. And... Honestly, I like it. All those came off of Parquet. Like, this is kind of becoming a mainly Parquet-focused area. And we start to get into Verhunga stuff, and there's Water Buffalo back there. So I don't know if I'm going with the theme. I kind of like just putting stuff where it looks good. And it's starting to work out pretty good. But yeah, I actually looked. The Mule Deer we had in the past, the biggest one, was 537 trophy ratings. This guy's just a little bit smaller, but still really cool. First Big Rack Muley in, I think, 11 months, so pretty happy to get that. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.